a robotic arm controlled by brainwaves. A paralyzed man plays guitar again. Both are examples of advances in the field of brain-to-computer interfaces. And now for the first time, researchers have studied how a similar device can assist primates with spine injuries, helping them make the complex leg movements involved in walking. Scientists at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology say they restored communication between the brain and the spinal cord of rhesus monkeys. And for this, we develop a brain spinal interface that decodes motor intention from brain signal, bypasses the lesion, sending this information to the spinal cord below the injury in order to reproduce the intended walking movement. This is how the whole device works. An electrode is inserted in the motor cortex region, the region of the brain that controls leg movement. Information is picked up by that electrode and sent to a computer that deciphers the primate's intended movement, whether the animal intends to make an extension or a flexion movement of the leg. The computer forwards that information to a stimulator implanted in the monkey's spine. The stimulator delivers electrical stimulation at the right location and with the correct timing to enable the intended movement. To make the link between the decoding of the brain and the stimulation of the spinal cord and to make this communication exist is completely new. The Swiss researchers say their success with a brain-spine interface with monkeys could be the first step toward a clinical trial involving people with spinal cord injuries.